Hello everyone! Welcome to Online Mosaic School. My name is Evgenia Kotsubinsky. In this video you will learn how to make this beautiful mosaic pomegranate. You can make this mosaic work even if you don't have any previous experience and skills and have never tried mosaic. I am happy to present you my new do-it-yourself mosaic kit which contains everything you need to make this wonderful piece of mosaic art. You can order it in my Etsy shop. Check the link in description. In the description to this video you can find the links to my other tutorials for creating apple mosaic, hamsa mosaic and this fiery heart mosaic. Check the details in the description. In the meanwhile, I will show you what's in the kit and we will start making mosaic. My pomegranate kit contains a wooden pomegranate base, glass tile mosaic, PVA glue and spreader, six glass nuggets, grout and grout stick, the ring hanger and magnets, as well as the sheet of instructions. So let's create mosaic. I take a white plate and pour the mosaic pieces onto it. As you can see, there are three colors of mosaic tiles – red, brown and pink. We'll glue them to the base, flat side up. Let's take the glass nuggets and glue them onto base in the designated circles. As you can see, the nuggets aren't located in the middle of the base. There are three tile rows from the left and four rows from the right. I'm applying a drop of glue on the flat side of every nugget and put it on the base. Now let's take only the red square tiles. I apply a, a glue path along the base frame and put the square red tiles on it. If you feel comfortable to, use a spreader to spread glue a little. I'm putting red tiles on the glue path close to one another and making the row even. If glue got on the tiles, it's not a big deal, you can wipe it off. Anyway, it gets transparent when it dries. I complete the red row. If in the end of the row whole tile doesn't get in, find a suitable piece by size and form. And now I pick up six triangle pink tiles so I could place them between each two glass nuggets from their outer side.
I also pick up a golden rectangular glass piece and glue it in the center between the nuggets. And now I'm gonna glue the row of pink tiles around the glass nuggets. I'll put the tiles close to one another and try to fit them by size so they form an even row. Now I'm gonna fill this gap with brown tiles. I'll have to pick up the tiles of suitable forms and sizes and glue them into the gap. And then I'm gonna glue the row of brown tiles from the right to nuggets. Only this time I'll intersperse them with golden glass pieces. Two brown tiles and one golden glass alternately.
Now we have left only one row to glue. This time I'll put one red and one brown tile alternately. I'll use the biggest brown pieces I can find and square red tiles to fill this gap completely. When it's done, I'll move the tiles slightly to make sure all the gaps between them are more or less equal. I also check the rest tiles and arrange them so they are all settled right. I leave the work for several hours for glue to cure and then I'll continue to grouting. For grouting I use gloves because the grout makes hands very dirty. I'm pouring the grout back into a plastic glass, you can use any container or bowl, and I add 2 teaspoons of water. Then I start mixing it thoroughly until all the water absorbs in the grout. When the grout gets lumpy, I'm adding two more teaspoons of water and keep on mixing. When the grout gets smooth like a toothpaste, we are ready to apply it. I'm covering the whole mosaic surface with the grout paste. When it's done, I'll use my finger to ingrain grout in all the gaps between the tiles. Don't push too hard, be careful not to tear your glove or to cut yourself by sharp edges of tiles. Alternatively, you can wrap your finger with a piece of cloth and then you could rub the surface more intensively without the risk to cut yourself.
And now I take a dry cloth and wipe out all the excessive grout from the mosaic as well as from the frame. And then I let the grout cure for 20 minutes. 20 minutes later I'm back to work. I'll take a damp cloth and wipe the grout leftovers off from the mosaic. If I see any holes or defects in grout, I fix them with the remaining grout paste. I help myself with a toothpick to get into hard to reach places like between the nuggets and remove an excessive grout from them and from the tiles. You can use a brush to sweep the grout leftovers of mosaic. And now I'm taking acrylic paint of red and brown colors and mix them together to get a maroon color for the frame and the base back side. For painting the back side I use painting sponge to cover the surface more evenly. Unlike the brush, it doesn't leave stripes.
And the last step of my work is to glue a D ring and magnets on the base back side. Recommend to use a super glue or a silicone glue to fix a G ring. The magnets could be glued with PVA glue from the kit. Let the glue cure for several hours. And finally, your mosaic is ready. Enjoy it! Please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. See you in other tutorials.